Hello everyone and welcome to part 12. Today's part we are going to do some interesting stuff and we are going to fix some stuff. Now let's start with fixing. If we come to object candy inside the destroy event, here we are uh, running this script after we destroy this candy. Now, first we add a point, we create the animation, then if we are a power, we, we destroy candies that aligned with us, with, with us uh, vertically or horizontally, depending on the type of power. Then we activate candies that are at our X position. Now, if this is confusing to you, let me explain it. If I swap let's say these candies we will have three matching candies they will disappear we will destroy them then we'll have these candies that are going to just wait because they are stable so in order to make them move and fill the empty space we want to activate them we want it uh, we want to reset the stable variable make it false and this is what it does now you might be asking why the x position because they fall vertically we don't need the y position we just need to tell the x position the horizontal position of the candy this is obvious well of course if you have the candies falling from the right side or from the bottom or I don't know you want to align that with that position anyways in order to make this look better I'll come and remove this from here and set it right here in the beginning and I'll take this and set it right here so we immediately have this these two right here and here I'll say and y is less than by so what this does it activates only candies above us not below us and this is very good actually we had a problem in the game let me demonstrate this when we create candies you see if i make let's make a match if I match these three, all these columns would be unstable. They, they would start moving down. But sometimes, sometimes, I swap candies. Let's say we have fresh candies here. Then I swap a fresh candy in this column. And then I destroy these three. Well, then... When Game Maker goes through the candies, and you remember it goes through their order, so one of the ca the fresh candies, okay, will come uh, later. So, for example, this candy will trig uh, will check below itself, and it finds out that there is nothing, and it starts moving. Then this is a fresh candy so it will not be checked after this candy game maker will go through the old candy so then it will go through this candy this candy checks below itself and sees the fresh candy still here so it turns stable to be true because there's something below here then it goes through this one this one through all the candies then it comes to the fresh candies which is which were in this column and it comes to this one now here it will check and see there is nothing below us so it moves when it moves it comes here but this candy is already stable so it won't be moving and you'll have a gap uh, let me try and show you this. So you see, when we destroyed these candies, they were, these were new candies, fresh candies. And we have this gap here now. And this comes as a, prob 
just because we check for older candies they see that there is nothing this candy was here checked for the candy below itself there was nothing then it went through all candies then it came to this candy and it did not move because it was a fresh candy and this is why and well I think the fresh candies check first I don't think they check later they are the first candies to be checked so this candy checks itself with the candy below itself there is a candy so it sets itself to be stable then this candy goes and moves then the candies above it will come and see that this candy is still here so they would not go they would not fall and they would not make this unstable so how to fix this problem well it's it's easy you remember we set this here to we set this table to be false but if you recall we have a we don't have an alarm oh that's odd well let's add an alarm alarm for and here we say stable equals false and all we have to do is in the destroy event we say alarm for equals something and this is very good actually because we can delay the falling then we can show the animation the animation of the destruction and there is one thing let's say zero because I want to show you something you see now that we destroyed these candies I set this to zero so it will never happen these candies I want them to fall uh, accordingly so the first one would be this it would check for itself then this one would check for itself then this one would check for this and, and, and so on so how to do this how to make them work uh, in order it's actually very easy we can set them by their y position and the distance between this candy and the original candy so it's very basic we come here and say alarm for equals delay or we can set it to be a, a number maybe 30 that is good then we say plus and we add a new uh, value the new value would be the distance between the candy and our candy so we would say point distance our position the position of the candy that is checking and the position of the candy that got destroyed divided by 64 because we are using a 64 grid so what this does is sets all the candies to be 30 then the nearest candy would have an additional one so it would be uh, 31 the one above it would be 32 then 33 then 34 so this is a very practical way to make the candies fall and we'll never have that problem now if I run this you'll see when these get destroyed these candies fall uh, accordingly and we will never have a gap inside our game so that was the fix we never got <laughs> to the exciting things you know what I'll make this video a bit longer if we come to the oh we don't have one we may we add a draw event the draw event you remember we added in the create event we don't need all these in the create event we added this image size and I want to set this to be 9 actually 0.9 if we come here we want to draw the sprite we want to say draw sprite extended sprite index 
let's put a candy type our x and y position image size image size angle which we don't have yet so we want to add this in the create event let's say here angle equals zero obviously then image blend and the alpha would be one what this does it just draws our sprite it does nothing special and uh, the only thing that it does it it draws it at the size that we want the collision box would remain the same we will just have the image drawn at the size that we want and you remember i wanted the size to be a, li a little bit smaller because i wanted to add some animation now we can add anima uh, an animation to the super candies and we would say if c power so if this is power candy we want to wiggle the size so we say if image size is bigger than one which is the maximum or it's less than 0 0.9 which is the minimum we want to set a new variable and call it counter we come to the create event and say counter equals 0 0.05 let's say and counter equals negative counter so what this what happens here when uh, then we increment the image size by counter so what happens here when the image size reaches 1.05 it sets the counter to be negative 0 0.05 and the counter the image size would start decreasing and when it starts decreasing and reaches 0 0.9 it sets it it sets the counter back to positive because this would be a negative then it makes it a negative so minus minus would be a plus then it starts going up again I hope this is understandable I know I'm not very good at explaining but this is what I can do so we added a new variable counter and we are incrementing the image size by the counter we set the counter to be 0 point 0 0.05 sorry actually you know I'll set it to 0 0.02 a smaller one so now we can give this a go and see what happens oh you see the size is smaller but it looks terrible because if you come to windows in the graphics you want to enable this interpolate colors between pixels okay okay and from the game so you see now everything looks fine the size is a bit smaller the collision box is the same and when we create a super candy ah we have a super candy you see it, it, it the candy is wiggling it looks cool so the player always knows that this candy is a super candy because it wiggles the game is more pleasing to play well i think this is enough for now and there are lots of things i was going to show you but we don't have time so we will have them in the next one thank you guys for watching please like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you are new to this channel thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one